We gave Senator Abaribe money to remain in the PDP, Governor Wiki. How can a member of the bar and a life bencher claim he bribed me to remain in the PDP, Senator Abaribe? This is our discussion today. Sit back and enjoy it. The sitting governor of River State and the leader of the aggrieved G5 governors, otherwise referred to as the integrity governors, has claimed he offered Senator Enyi Naya Abaribe, the senator representing Abia South Senatorial District in the National Assembly, money to remain in the PDP. The question now is, why would Nwike offer Abaribe money to remain in the PDP? I will tell you why. Senator Abaribe contested for governorship tickets in Abia State under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and lost to the anointed candidate of Governor Okeze Ipazo, Professor Ikune. Abaribe believes he has done so much for the PDP not to get the governorship ticket of his state. Even at the National Assembly, as the leader of the party in the Senate, Abaribe was a voice to reckon with. Now, Wike is accusing Abaribe of collecting money from them to remain in the PDP after losing the governorship ticket of the party in the state. This is a plan to stop Abaribe from contesting under any other party to return back to the Senate. Here Wike accused Abaribe. Watch. I'm aware because some people didn't get tickets in one of the senatorial districts they went and collected from. Let me tell you, today, we commissioned a road in Old Yungwa local government. And I'm sure that person is from Old Yungwa local government. I don't want to tell you what I did. He promised me that he will not leave PDP. And I came, I called the governor, please. The brother said he's not going to leave PDP. And I said, what do we do? He said, he needs some money. We gave him the money today. Three days time, he left PDP. Do they have integrity? Over integrity? Can you vote for such a person? Can he represent to us? Wike keeps talking about integrity, but he just admitted giving bribe to Abaribe, a custodian of the law, confessing in public of giving bribe to a lawmaker, a senator of the Federal Republic. This is crazy. Senator Abaribe has now replied Wike, watch. Sometimes, you know, um, in Igbo language, there's uh, an adage that says that Gragara for okay. <laughs> in other words, hyperactivity. When it's over, when you overdo it, it might be leading you to insanity. So let's just look at all the things that went on there. Governor Wiki, a member of the bar. I think he's now a life venture who is the governor of a state comes out in public and says he attempted to bribe this man for what reason he said oh not to leave pdp how could he bribe me not to leave pdp at what point now he wants to do campaign for my opponent. Ipazo is my opponent in the senatorial race. And Governor Wiki comes to campaign for him. Of course, we will talk about the other issues. And then Governor Wiki talks about giving me money. No, he did not give me any money. And I don't remember any time I sat with Governor Wiki to discuss anything concerning living or not living PDP. Now, let's talk about Governor Wiki and integrity. He talks about that I lack integrity. No problem. That is his opinion. But I 
was the minority leader of the Senate and the leader of the PDP in the National Assembly. And I resigned my position because I was disgusted with what was going on in PDP. And I decided that I will not stay there because I needed to prove that I can win election outside. Now, Governor Wike is so bothered that he lost the uh, um, presidential uh, primaries. And all along he has been running all over, impugning everybody's character, trying to drag down his own party. Yet, he says, I am in PDP, and you're dragging PDP down every day. Between me and Governor Wike, who has integrity? Abaribe denied taking any money from Wiki and his G5 governors. Abaribe said he left the party because he was not pleased with the party anymore. Abaribe also said that Wiki, who is aggrieved with the party after the presidential primaries that he clearly lost, has refused to leave the party, but rather remain in the party and pull it down at all costs. Between a man who walked away and a man who refused walking away but chose to remain in the party and pull it down, who lacks integrity? Abaribe asked. The biggest surprise in all of this drama is how can a sitting governor of a state bring another sitting governor of another state to endorse him to win election? Does it even make sense if after eight years of service you still cannot convince your people to do your bidding? Then you never serve the people in the first place. Truly, Albia state is in a mess. The state has never had it right since the return of democracy in 1999. And all the past governors in the state have all ran to the Senate after ending their horrible tenure as governor. Now, the current governor of the state, Okeze Ipazo, wants to join them there. If he succeeds, all the three senatorial seats in the Senate would be occupied by the Association of S Governors in Abia State. Here, yes, Senator Abaribe talk about the marginalization of the southeastern part of the country when it comes to federal presence in the south. Watch. I was elected by the people of Abia South to go and fight for their rights. In getting there, I found that if it's not just Abia South, it's the whole of the southeast. We have been marginalized. We have been treated like second-class citizens. We have been treated abominably by the federal government. And you want me to go there and carry their bag and be their errand boy? How would that bring anything to us? So what belongs to me, I will get it through being an errand boy. I'm not going to do that. And the people of Abia South don't want somebody of that nature. Senator Abaribe said it clearly that the Southeast has been treated like second-class citizens in the country and that he can't be an errand boy to demand for what rightfully belongs to his people. That's right. In conclusion, politicians can play their games, but the ball ends in our court, the electorate. Get ready to vote your conscience come 20. 23. Have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. Please subscribe to this news channel. Let me be your news blog and I will keep you updated.